Hi, Renee Polish here, author of Nephilim Genesis of Evil, the Reed Ferguson mystery series, and some other great things. I uh, wanted to just do a little video here to kind of tag along with my post, The Best of Film Noir, Sunset Boulevard. If you have not seen this movie, you are missing out. It is an absolute classic. I encourage you to watch it. Um, let's go into a little tidbits here about some of the actors in it. Um, our noir hero is William Holden, um, 1918 to 1981. Sunset Boulevard was his breakthrough role. Um, he'd had some bit roles before that, but this is what put him on the map. Uh, he was one of the biggest box office draws in the 1950s. Um, had a lot of great, wonderful roles, and he won an Oscar for Stalag 17 in 1953. Um, he had a movie called Golden Boy, and then that kind of became his nickname. He was Hollywood's Golden Boy in the 1950s, and he didn't have nearly as much success after that, but he certainly is well known for a lot of his roles and absolutely known for his role um, in Sunset Boulevard. Our femme fatale, Gloria Swanson. Now, you wouldn't think of her, any of you that know her, as a femme fatale, but she certainly was in Sunset Boulevard. Uh, she was one of the most prominent silent film stars, uh, really, ever. Um, and believe it or not, she was actually also a fashion icon. Um, the types of um, costumes that she wore in her movies with uh, beads and feathers and so on where were widely copied and so she was a um, you know both a silent film star and a fashion icon um, in 1928 she made a very controversial movie called Sadie Thompson um, it was because there was uh, some of the subject matter that was covered and there was swearing um, that took place in the um, screenplay and they had to work around all of that because because the um, movie codes, the moral codes at the time, would not allow it. Um, the movie actually did very well, and she garnered her first ever Academy Award nomination at the very first Academy Awards. Uh, Gloria Swanson was able to successfully transition into talking movies, and she had a company, Multi Prizes, that actually its only purpose was rescuing Jewish scientists and inventors from Europe during the 1930s and 1940s. Um, she uh, didn't do so well um, in the after the early 30s with her uh, movie roles um, until Sunset Boulevard came along, um, and then everybody remembered who she was. And of course, it's it's just an iconic role. So let's talk just a little bit about Sunset Boulevard. Um, it's considered one of the most noteworthy films of American cinema. It was nominated for 11 Academy Awards and it won three. Um, AFI, the American Film Institute, has it at number 12 on the top 100 American films of all time. And it, uh, it's a great movie to watch, like I said. Um, it has uh, wonderful touches of authentic Hollywood at the time and cameos in it and so on. Um, just, just an absolutely fantastic movie. It's got some of the best lines of all time as well. Uh, how many people can forget, all right, Mr. DeMille, I'm ready for my close-up. Um, and there's another scene there where um, uh, Norma Desmond says, uh, I am big, and it's the pictures that got small. And then uh, if you, again, watch the movie, but William Holden, who plays Joe Gillis, uh, he mutters, I knew something was wrong with them. Um, they have another great line where Desmond, um, where Joe says, uh, they'll love it in Pomona, and Desmond responds, they'll love it every place. So it's just got some, some great um, lines, some great acting, and if, if you have not watched this movie, you've, you've got to. It's one of my all-time favorites, not, not even because it's film noir, that's just a side piece of it. Um, uh, my best friend and I watched it in high school, and it was fun to, to mimic um, Gloria Swanson, so definitely pick up this film. Thanks!